And sorry to <laughs> interrupt this beautiful nature for the intro to this video, but it is Thursday, November 2nd. The time is 5.30 p.m. and the temperature is around 8 degrees Celsius. And this is the Humber River. And legend has it, if you were to come here about a week ago, you might have seen some salmon swimming upstream. And this here is Crookshank Park. At least I think that's what it's called. And just off straight ahead of here is Weston Road. And for this one, I'll be walking south down Weston Road through Weston which is a neighborhood on the west end of Toronto. It's been a while since I've been here. I think I came here about two years ago in October and made a video. I've got something prickly. Oh, do I ever. Look at that. I just felt something sticking into my foot. And these things are now all over my fingers. Well, that's much better. So we're gonna head up to Weston Road and I believe Church Street it is. And then I'm gonna walk south down Weston and find my way into the GO station. They have a bike share here, which makes sense. Riding along the Humber is quite nice. Although there's only one available bike at that dock. And I think I described this area last time. as having a somewhat troubled past and not the greatest reputation, but that's been slowly turning around. And I didn't know this, but it also features Toronto's oldest bookstore. So I'll see if I can locate that. And the neighborhood itself is south of Highway 401 east of the Humber River, which is right behind me, north of Eglinton, which is to the south of here, and west of Jane Street. And this would be the main commercial stretch just up ahead here. Oop. I almost slipped on that step. I still have something prickly sticking into my sock. Let's see if we can. Make that a little better. All right, let's cross here. the entrance to the park. And this is my new, new Osmo Pocket 3 camera. Sorry, I'm just trying to get those pricklies <laughs> out of my sock. This one just arrived yesterday. This one's the Creator Combo. And I'm using the built-in microphone. 
or the one that came with it. There's an 89 Weston bus. And to get here, I took the subway up to Lawrence Station, and then I hopped on the express bus all the way over to Weston and Lawrence. And I hopped on the express version of that bus. I was gonna walk north up here from Lawrence, but the express bus just happened to be coming by. And it took an awfully long time to get here. It might have been quicker just to take the up express train, maybe taking the subway to Dundas West. This camera doesn't seem to want to straighten out. There we go. Weston, show love to you. I think just to the left here, is one of the seven original Carnegie libraries. And that might be... Is it here? I'm not really sure. It might be to the left here. Or the next street. I remember seeing it the last time I recorded in the area. Yeah, that's definitely not it. You think I would have walked around here on Google Maps or <laughs> watch my previous video before I came up. I think it's a little bit south of here. That's the Humberview Housing Co-op across the street. And this area was known for having a higher crime rate compared to other neighborhoods. I think that is an issue that's been resolving itself. And there's a lot of new developments just over there. Transit does seem to be a bit lacking. That Lawrence bus was just crawling along, even though it was an express bus. Weston Road here goes north, which is in the opposite direction, all the way up to the Holland Marsh, which is near the city of Newmarket. And it goes south of here down to St. Clair, where it will turn into Keel Street. I think the library is just coming up at the next intersection. Bossy Hair Studio. Taste of the Bahamas. Mini chicken in the bag, $4.99. I am not had lunch or dinner today, actually. And I might live stream after this, but before then, maybe I'll pick up some food. Kind of wish I was on the other side, a little closer to that mural. That looks pretty neat. A much needed splash of color on a gray, dreary day like this. Here's that library on the left. So there were 10 of these commissioned, the Carnegie Libraries, back in 1914. 
and some, some of them are still surviving. Although some of them have received extensive upgrades and repairs. I don't know if this one has. Incorporated in 1858, erected 1914. This building was erected in 1914 with a Carnegie Foundation grant to replace the Apprentices Library at Old Dufferin Hall. And just across the street, the Central United Church. And you will see apartment buildings dotting alongside Weston, but it's mostly older single family homes once you get beyond there. There's a 989 express bus. doing a video here I think three years ago around this time and there was actually a snowfall taking place. Yep, why look to your right at the person crossing the street and you have a baby in the car. I was waiting to make eye contact with her but she just stepped on the gas without even looking. There's a big shopper's drug mart on the left. Honey drip across the street. Popeyes, I can definitely go for something from there right now. New Era Hair Studio, Dollarama. That's rather well done. I kind of wish this car wasn't parked here interrupting the view designed and painted by cristiano.ca Weston Smoothie Cafe. All right, so I wanted to make a little detour to the left here. Then I'll come back up to this intersection. Oh, I think I already walked by it. I think next to that Dollarama over there is Squibs, what I talked about as being, whoop, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Flip back around, do it. That's a shame. I wanted to point out the oldest still operating bookstore in the city. I knew it was on that side of the street. I thought it might be coming up when I realized it wasn't gonna be on this 
stretch of stores here. I look back. Uh, this is John Street, not to be confused with the John Street downtown in the entertainment district. Limited and rare snacks. That well, looks like it's. Is it open or closed? left is the Artscape Weston Common. And it's been dubbed a community cultural hub. opened back in 2019 as a gathering place for people to come learn, create, and experience local art. I think that was part of the deal with building these condos. They also put a splash of color to kind of match it on that apartment building. I think this pedestrian crossing went up around the same time. I'm just gonna take a quick peek up here. This is the rail corridor, and you can see the CN Tower way off in the distance. I was able to put the older camera right through these little links and fences like that but this one's a bit too big I was hoping we'd see a go train or an up express airport train coming through but no such luck My gimbal seems to be wanting to point this camera to the right. Let me see if I can straighten that out. That was not an issue with the other Pocket 3 I had. Maybe I'll have to keep an eye on that. I did update the firmware. Let's just go this way. Again, back over to Weston, I'll make a left. Yes, <laughs> my foot is still itchy. Oh, I guess that's just for Halloween. Just in on the left here, I believe, was the site of an old CCM factory. 
where they made bicycles uh, during World War II, the Canadian government took over and had them produce bikes and supplies for the war efforts. At least I think it was on that side of the street. Zeal Burgers. On the bus over here, I went by another stretch of retail like this at Jane and Lawrence. And that might be one of the last stretches like that in the city I have yet to record on the channel. What is this cab doing? There's Caribbean Queen Jerk. Next to Bellina Restaurant, East African Food. Why are these people crossing here? It's not a good idea. There's the 952 Express and the 52G. There's so many variations of that Lawrence bus. Yeah, we got a go train. I believe that's the Kitchener go line. But this area was established back in the 1700s when a sawmill was built along the Humber River. And the area gets its name from a village that went by the same name in the UK. Oh, a via train was following that go through. So we're just gonna go south a little bit here. I'm going to cross over to the GO station. Oh, they <laughs> stepped out onto the road and tried to cross again. I'm curious as to how this camera is doing in these lighting conditions. Hopefully it's picking up all the detail in the sky there. Oh, there's an Up Express train. Slowly rolling into the station. So that'll be making a stop just south of here at Dundas West. And then we'll be on to Union Station. A lot of really small, unique retailers here. Two for a dollar pop. It's almost unheard of, right next to an Alibaba's. A laundromat. So I'll head south to the next lights. Then I'll head up to the train platform. And what I'm thinking about doing is continuing south down west in here. 
into Mount Dennis and covering that on a live stream. Wow, there's plans for a 45-story tower right here. Nice splash of color on that wall. I guess being so close to the GO station would be quite the selling feature. It's just 15 minutes to downtown from here on the Up Express or GO train. Provincial Parliament. They voted conservative in this neighborhood. That seems rather surprising. To elect someone actively working not in your best interests. What will Groceries Canada? Just throw a mattress outside, because why not? Oh, there's plans for another building here of 40 stories. West Indian and Canadian dishes. The easy laundromat. Even though we're in Canada, or we would say Z, not Z. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be easy and not EZ. Another up express train is pulling through, but that one is going north up to the airport. Bus is going all the way down to Keel Station. Which makes sense given that Western Road becomes Keel. The Caribbean Market. And holy cow, <laughs> is my foot ever itchy? Of those burrs. I have to take my sock off and de-needle it, de-prick it. I don't know what you would say, but make it not feel like there's pins sticking into my ankle. It looks like this used to be a gas bar right across the street. Royal Daycare. 
Oh, there's another development notice. So it's only a matter of time before we see rents in this area going up and just gentrification in general getting a grip on the area so this was i don't think originally planned to be part of the up express that's the express route to Pearson Airport from Union. That would be a GO train there, but it was later added and I think the whole station was reconfigured and moved south a little bit. That GO train obviously wasn't stopping here. Platforms one and two go left. Three go right. Oh, I walked right by it. Platform three. Let's just go up and take a look at the platforms. Neat stuff, and the CN Tower is directly off in that direction. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one, walking around Weston. Really dying to take this sock off. Next train to Union at 1842. There must be a train going in the other direction, because it's only 6.03 now. But let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Zoom in on the tower. Anywho. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.